okay so let's start with the first part of our course that is understanding valuation that what actually valuation is or why is it performed or what is the use so before we learn about the valuation first key thing to learn about is the difference between value and price so these are two different words so being a financial analyst you should be very clear about the difference between these two that what does price mean and what does value mean or what is the difference so any idea about it what is value and what is price right so uh, price is basically if i have to summarize it price is what you pay and value is as foreign buffet says value is what you get so price is that quoted amount at which you can buy or sell something or at which market trades the uh, asset as you said that um, uh, it is the price at it is that amount at which you can buy or sell in the market value is the benefit that you get out of that uh, product or out of that uh, asset so which means that price depends on some other factors and value depends on some other factors price depends on the demand and supply of an asset and value the value would vary from investor to investor so value can be different for every investor why because it is the benefit which an investor or which someone is taking out of the product or out of the asset so that benefit can be higher for someone or can be lower for someone so value can be different for different investors while price would depend on demand and supply and price would be fixed in the market so anyone can buy or sell at the same price now each investor so whenever a buying or selling decision is taken an investor would be comparing the price with the value so an investor needs to compare the market price with the value that he is driving out of the uh, product or out of the asset and based on that a buy or sell decision is taken so if value is greater than price if investor is getting or someone is getting a higher benefit than the price that he or she is paying then he would want to buy it and that is known as undervalued asset if value is greater than price that is known as undervalued and investor would want to buy it and if value is lower than price then that will be known as overvalued and investor would want to sell it so that means that in for anyone to take any decision of buying or selling anything calculation of value is very important so no matter if you are investing uh, if you are doing equity investing you are doing fixed income investing you are doing private equity or any kind of investing you need to know the value of the asset before you take a buy or sell decision so our course would be focused on finding out this value that how do we actually find out this value which is the benefit so value would depend on future expectations and discounted assumptions why uh, so we discuss that value is a benefit now the question is that how do you calculate value so value should be equal to benefit now the question is that how do you calculate benefit so what is the benefit of investing into any asset or any company the benefit that you get out of investing into any company can be a dividend right it can be any cash flows it can be earnings so there can be different types of benefits that you can extract by investing into a company if you are only getting dividend then that dividend will be the benefit if you are not getting dividend but you are getting cash flows the company is making cash flows that would become the benefit if company is making earnings but due to some uh, temporary reason it is not being converted into cash flows then those earnings would become your benefit so which means that you need to calculate the benefit and that benefit can be in different can be of different types depending on the company depending on the structure or depending on the asset the key idea is that you should first identify what the benefit is and then you should calculate the benefit how do we calculate it that will come in later but the idea is that you should be able to calculate the benefit and once you have the benefit that is the value and then you can compare that value or that benefit with price in the market and take investment decision uh, investment 